Perform on six apparatus in men's artistic gymnastics. Floor, bottle horse, rings, vault, parallel bars, and high bar. Floor. Each routine must consist of dynamic tumbling skills, such as somersaults and twists. Combined with other gymnastic elements such as strength and balance parts, handstands and flexibility. The entire floor area must be used and the routine must be no more than 70 seconds in length with a deduction if it goes over. first competition to be held under the new code which has produced a rather different style of marking alongside me as usual Hitch Fenner, Christine Still and in this case we'll have the gentleman first says it's the men's competition looking forward to a very interesting competition this new code will uh, provide a few problems the score basically is that they can still get the old 10 you can still manage to work out who's the cleanest performance, the mark from 10, and on top of that, they're given a score for difficulty. It should be very interesting, Chris, shouldn't it? Yes, it certainly should. Uh, the idea is that uh, you can, the, the difficulty level can be infinite. You can keep getting more and more difficulty, obviously, there is a limit because, the, you know, you've only got one minute, 30 seconds to perform in, and it's actually your, your highest level moves that count, just 10 moves count towards your final score. But uh, it's certainly going to change the look of gymnastics scoring. 
got to get used to 13.5s and 14.3s, Barry. Interesting for you. Uh, the first Commonwealth Games in the strongest country. Representing Botswana, please welcome Motivi Kutwano. A very warm welcome for Kutwano Motivi from Botswana. Only gymnast from that country, the first ever to appear in the Commonwealth Games in this sport, and unfortunately, he has a foot out right at the start. Good high start, though, full twist in double. Nice one and a half twist with the punch front. Very quiet exercise, this. He's not, uh, doesn't seem to be straining. It's important under this new code that every skill is well performed and cleanly performed because now judges can take up to 0.8 for a huge problem, which soon make a mess of a decent score, Chris. Yes, the, the deductions have become quite a lot more severe. So the gymnasts are being encouraged to only perform what they can perform really well, just like he did there. Very good, clean landing. Nice double tuck, rounded all up nicely, and that's a good example of playing safe. And uh, he'll be the first recipient of the new style scoring. Yes, he certainly cut his gum according to the cloth. Good, powerful round off, strong back flip. He's got good height and lift, the, the full twist in the first somersault. The second somersault, but just the step back which caused him to go out of the floor. He limited his problems. And very good, clean lines there, that side. Some sort one of the elements that has to be included. And you should know this floor, because he competed here in the World Championships at the back end of last year. Finished 38th. So two separate juries. The, uh, Valuation of what was achieved from jury A. And uh, this is the first vault that we've seen. Very efficient, straight, Yushenko. Misha, good enough. See the round off onto the board shows a good straight shape through the air just a little pace on landing but direction was fine has to try and land inside those tram lines he does so well at david eaton of wales the only gymnast from that country second games he uh, appeared in uh, 98 in Kuala Lumpur. Good to see him back after injury, and that's a problem start for him to explode. Fourth move in, and that, under the new code, is 0.8. And it could also affect his difficulty, so this could be very severe indeed for David Let's make that clear, 0.8 deduction. 0.8 deduction. <laughs> He's picking up now, he really needs to settle down. He's into the uh, Zivado travel. Nicely controlled, but he's not really extending and he's swinging quite slowly. Obviously playing very safe. The worst of starts for David Eaton. But he's experienced. Back sheer, picking up now flaring towards the dismount, and he recovered that very well, but for David Eaton, not the best of starts. And the difficulty gets him five, and the uh, overall score only 12.75, so not the start that he was looking for. As I was explaining, Mitch, two different juries. Two different juries. The A jury will be looking at the two judges in the A jury, and they'll be looking at the skills he's doing and adding up the difficulty, making sure also that he's satisfying the requirements of each exercise. And then the B jury just look at what he does, nothing else, and deduct either one tenth, three tenths, five tenths, or eight tenths, depending on the severity of problem. You see the marks 
of the juries and here for the man from Botswana. Jury A give him 4.3 and he gets a penalty of 0.1. For the step out of the floor area. A couple of scores there in the eights for performance, which is uh, quite reasonable. And if you look at that score, eight, five and above from the 10, that's a good marker because that's a good, competent, safe performance. Then they add on, of course, the difficulty. This is Misha, good enough score for the vault. Jury A, five, eight and the three nines coming up for the quality of his performance. Off to the rings. And they're looking here. Controlled, press to handstand, but they're looking to see a combination of swing to strength and pure strength. That's nice, look. On the Yamawaki, which is a double front between the rings, didn't hold the uh, cross position or crucifix position. So there's room for deductions here, definitely. Swing to handstand. Nicely controlled, setting up the dismount. Full twist, double straight, nicely done. But it was the strength elements, wasn't it, Chris, there that were a little bit lacking. Yes, no major error, but as you say, Mitch, not the most difficult routine. But very clean. Christian uh, Rezenau of South Africa. <laughs> and he scored 13.4. Now this is Gerhard Spigers. Gerhard Sriggers of South Africa. Starts with impressive strength work. Must show swings as well as strength, and he swings to the hold. Good shape at the top of the handstand. And interesting somersault connections. He's satisfy the requirements of a high-level routine. Just little deductions from the jury that are taking marks off. One for the step back there, certainly. That's a pity, because up to that point, I was going to say that's the best performance we've seen from this uh, first rotation. But it's a bit like skating, as I've come to learn. If you make a mistake, you pay for it now. Certainly true. Yeah, there's some nice swinging elements. This was nice. The Jonasson, the double pike front. Nicely up the handstand from it. Just a little squeeze through the elbows there. A lovely shot of the Jonasson there. Lifting his heels to get height in the dislodge. You can see he bent his arms there to get the handstand. competition between the uh, two countries the New Zealanders are having the better of it and, uh, here we're going to look at their last performer on the vault Mark Holyoke Time the score for Swiggers. Jury A say 5.6. Marked down by the judge from England for the performance. Interesting point about that marking. Although they can deduct as little as a tenth for a small fault, some of the judges start with three tenths, don't they? They go three, five, and eight, and it soon rips into that ten. 
Yes, gone are the small, the ability to deduct 0 0.05s. Those are the only deductions you can make. 0.1 for a little error, 0.3 for a little bigger, 0.5 and 0.8. So there's, there's not so much option for the judge to choose. With the last performers to go, New Zealand have a five-point advantage over South Africa. This is Mark Holyoke, the reigning New Zealand all-around champion on the vault. And going for a big vault, high tariff, and performing it very well indeed. happy with life but what do the judges think plenty of aggression on the approach double twist in the Sukahara didn't quite get round but rescued it well he was plumb centre between that uh, corridor line very well done 14 though Yes, his biggest deduction will be for this big pike on landing. The judges want to see the chest lifted as they land, but he was very clean. Very consistent performance by the New Zealanders, all 15 point something. This from Mark Holyoke at 15.95. And that confirms the score and how he achieved it. We haven't as yet seen on the rings, the uh, Cypriot, who shared with Steve Frew, the uh, apparatus title there. This opening session starting with a gold medalist included. We'll be there a little later. And uh, there we are, an advantage of 5.2 marks for New Zealand over South Africa. Sri Lanka only have three members in their team. Yes, it's the, it's the five, four, three. That hasn't changed. Five in the team, four to be used on each piece of apparatus. Three to count. It's something which is going to affect the uh, England women's team. In the absence of Beth Treadle. The uh, four gymnasts will have to be on every piece of apparatus. It does, of course, give the opportunity then them to qualify for the all-around competition where one or two of them might have thought they didn't have the chance but let's go back to the men this is where they are in subdivision one at rotation two New Zealand on the parallel bars South Africa replacing them on the vault and Sri Lankans on the floor should see 
South Africa make some inroads on that score on vault because uh, that's where the advantage is. You can lift a decent score on vault, so they could be closing the gap significantly on New Zealand, Barry, I think. This, of course, is the first major championship on this new judging scheme and the variety of uh, interesting features, for instance, like how the vault seems to be much more heavily weighted for good scores is going to be looked carefully at, I think, at the end of this championships. Well, at the end of the day, when you're taking, playing with 10 marks and you're looking at approach, contact, flight and landing, there's not an awful lot you can lose unless you make an absolute pig's ear of it. And uh, the scores are going to be higher. Um, but when you're doing 10, 12 elements, then you can lose a lot more marks than the other apparatus. You're posing a question, aren't you? What do you do to correct that? Or are you... Do you say, well, everybody has a chance there, so it doesn't make any difference? Yes, that probably is the way you work it. Uh, I mean, the fact of the matter is, when you vault, you're doing one move. And even if the judges deduct heavily, for, they are only deduct, deducting off the one move. When you've got ten moves to deduct for, you're sort of ten times in the deductions, aren't you? Yeah, if you've got a, a difficulty vault for around mid-sixes, to Yuchenko or Sukahara with twist about 6.6 .6, then you're going to be looking at high 14s low 15s every time unless of course you botch the landing the three Sri Lankans are on the floor I thought for a moment we were going to see them they started off there with uh, Gunnar Sukara Going to see on the high bar, the man from Cyprus. Konstantinos. Konstantinos Aristotelos. Cyprus on the high bar. Nice measured quiet start, building up for the first release. Nice and clean, lost his feet a little bit on the full twist over the bar. And again. Nice control, drifted from the straddle into the Healy turn. So, one release, which he successfully negotiated Here's the dismount. Oh, and he just rescued it, tucked his legs <laughs> vigorously at the end. Now, Mitch, one or two people probably watching this, the last gymnastics they watched was in the Olympic Games. So I have to ask you, is there now a limit on the number of swings after the performance of Alexei Nemov caused chaos in Athens? Well, Nemov's routine uh, probably inspired all the changes that have happened for this. Basically, if he added release on release on release, he'd be building difficulty to a degree where he could get a little bit of bonus, but he'd be rewarded for every release. And that was the big contention uh, in Athens. <laughs> so I think, uh, you know, the one release we've seen here, that was a double twisting, double straight, which he bailed out at the end <laughs> just to make sure the rotation but that was a good safe routine, Chris, what do you think? Yes, and he showed good variety. The gymnasts still have to show a variety of different skills, so you can't just perform releases. Um, you will get bonus if you do more than one, but you do have to show some other things as well, and he did that. He just released without enough rotation, didn't he? And upside down, he knew that and tucked his legs up. Just to go back and them off for a moment, he would have been marked more highly and he might have finished a bit higher up in the list for the Olympic Games. Oh, it certainly would have made a difference. I mean, that, that was the issue and the controversy which sparked all this off, you know. From the rings and from the Isle of Man. This is Matthew. 
Uh, in fact, he's played the part. He's on the uh, on the tumble horse, the man from the Isle of Man. Oh, and and it's Alexander Hedges. Sorry, Christine. No, he lost his rhythm, didn't he? Lost shape. Such a difficult apparatus, this, just to circle the legs round. To find a point on it, he was about as good as my efforts to find his name and where he was competing. Needs to stretch the hips. The work just a little bit higher. Happy with just the one fall. Yes, he never looked in control at any time. Think about the Tomahawk horse. Once you lose the swing, it's the end of it, really. You just can't muscle your way through. It'll catch you up in the end. The coach is fairly philosophical about it. Not no choice. Great moment for the gymnast from the Isle of Man to compete here at the Commonwealth Games. Probably making history. Brushing the pommel every time, isn't he? Yes, yeah, so that will be deductions every time he goes round, and you'll see that on that score. Only sevens for the quality of performance now on the uh, high bar score for Aristoteles 14.05 in total interesting to compare these marks to what we we'll see uh, in the second Alex, session later in the day Sri Lanka and uh, out by not so much as a foot as a full leg yes but he worked hard to limit it to just the one step now if you have two steps out as you go they take two point two off so the gymnasts are fighting to only let there be one step however when you sit down like he did on his second tumble that's a much heftier deduction at least a naught point eight it's tough, isn't it? I mean, three deductions like that, and you're down in the sevens. You've got 12 opportunities to get deducted. Yes, and the judges can deduct more than that if they wish, because obviously the move was low, which was what created the fall, and they can deduct for performing it poorly as well as falling over. He's recovered well. Good twist and a good landing to finish. When you said 12 possibilities of deduction, you mean that there are 12 elements that they have to include? Well, an average routine would, would take about 12, 12 elements on floor, and they actually have to do 10 scoring difficulty elements, so they get deducted for that, but you've got to do all the links as well, so there's plenty of opportunity every time you move. Uh, you can be losing a mark. It's uh, really going to separate the haves from the have-nots in terms of style preparation and presentation i think i'd just stand there and smile at the judges <laughs> well this is of course very much this new judging system and it's going to be interesting to see there's quite a lot of people that feel a safe routine is probably going to be the order of the day with this code of points Good style, though, on this round of flip, and he lifts well, double twist, legs beautifully together, good landing, so he won't lose very much for that move. Interesting, interesting diver's technique. Hand on head. Uh, David Eaton on the rings for Wales in this second rotation.
that is a very well held cross, making up for his uh, earlier problems on pommel horse. Nice clean upward circle into lever. Now those arms have got to stay straight and the judges aren't too keen on straddled strength parts. They, it could be deducted for that. You need to have your legs together under the new coat. Surprised to see that in there. That was okay. Back from a shoulder injury, so this is a big test for him. Half in, half out, or full twisting double tuck to finish for David Eaton. So why is it more difficult having the legs together than having them straddled? Well, you, um, it, it's all to do with the centre of gravity, Barry, as you well know. And uh, if you split your legs, you're dissipating the weight and shortening the levers and making the balance slightly easier. If your legs are together, then it's a much harder task. And uh, only 12.9 and uh, only 4.2 in terms of the technical difficulty, if that's the right way of expressing it. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Arena. This is Gerhard Swiggers. A good look at the vault. Started with 13.6 on the rings. So looking to do better than that on the vault is Gerhard Swiggers. Good approach run and very good double twist there. This is a vault marked out of, I think it's 6.6, 6. so it's got a very good high tariff. And he was pretty clean. There weren't too many places the judges could deduct. Approach that like an athlete. Super running, sprinting style, and uh, lots of control there. Plenty of aggression. Very good, legs squeezed together. There'll be a deduction for the first flight. He was a bit untidy on that first flight. Look, legs come apart a little bit there, but then he gets them together. Good and clean, upright as he lands. And interestingly, he's going to do a second vault. Now, if you want to qualify for the finals, you have to do a second vault. That's the best score on the vault so far. 16 total from the two juries of two and four. Now he has to do a different vault to qualify for the finals. This won't affect his all around score or his team total. He's simply vaulting to make a final. Oh, and a good attempt. Handspring double front. Lost direction a bit and really only just got his feet down. That's uh, interesting there that if the seat actually brushed, that's five tenths. It's amazing now that whereas before you'd probably get away with a three tenths deduction, there's five tenths gone there. Just watch the seat. Did it touch? Well, you couldn't see from that, but it was pretty close. I think it probably did. I think it was feet first. Feet first. But then he sat as well. Way off to the right. Yes, for a vault that involves no twisting, that's quite strange for it to be so off direction. So vault two down on vault one. Just a tie by Christine. The second vault to qualify for which competition? For the apparatus finals on vault. Later in the week, the gymnasts will have the chance to contest for the finals. And they qualify for those finals off this first day of competition. This is Mark Holyoke, New Zealand, on the parallel bars. Start back straddle to handstand. Lovely line there. Interesting scoop technique for the under somersault. Need a good score from him here because they've dropped behind South Africa, New Zealand. And uh, struggling just a little bit to keep the rhythm going. He's allowed to stop three times on uh, parallel bar, so he's got to keep the swing reasonably fluent. Trying to make 
make up his mind whether to lock out or not in that handstand. Tenth of time. And the eagle-eyed judge would rob him of three tenths for that. Oh, and a double front, which a uh, little hot forward. It didn't look like happening, but he rescued it from somewhere. Very controlled performance, Mitch, wasn't it? Beautiful handstand line. It just lacked a bit of swing. It was just all control. Technique in the underswing, hips well above his head. Yeah, she went this, he really did. And watch this, he's not logged out. That's a tenth every time. He goes down again, there's another tenth. And he loved oh no, he didn't see the third one, but uh, three tenths he could lose for that. It's incredible, really, under the new system. And that double front was uh, a bit of sorcery involved there, I think, because he didn't look as if he swung into it with any determination. I'm trying to remember the line, Mitch, there's something about you can't do a thing if you ain't got that swing, isn't it? It don't mean a thing. That's it, you got that. complex front tummy with one and a half twists off deep deep landing little losing marks with a very difficult vault see pushes pike front somersault one and a half twist but the head only the feet only just got down before the hand Accurate the forecast by the two experts I've got with me. The uh, battle between New Zealand and South Africa has totally swung the other way as a result of South Africa being on the vault. They now lead by not quite four marks. Of course, a score could be set here by either of these two teams that would be good enough to medal, although there are six countries compete in the in the second session it's uh, unlikely but it is possible it's unlikely but it is possible and everybody still is I don't say working in the dark but here we go there's the score 14.45 5.6 in difficulty so it was a good score yes everybody is still very much feeling their way with this new judging system and some of the more fancied nations will no doubt be risking a little more, doing more difficulty. If it comes off, they'll win, but there's always the chance it might not. So that confirms what I told you. That's the position. After two rotations, South Africa leading by a little under four marks. And Sri Lanka, for whom every gymnast has to count, in third place. Pardon, I said four marks. I must get back to mathematics. Difference between the two sides around two marks. And uh, it's Holyoke who leads in the uh, individual battle at the moment. 30.4. Two of the six pieces of apparatus. That's where the New Zealanders are next. There is the man himself. Showing uh, recordings of Brendan Darrick of Australia beforehand, now uh, retired. Am I wrong or is there a similarity in looks between the New Zealand do and the Australian? Yes, there is. A couple of thousand miles between them. What's that between friends? Yeah, yeah. They do. Years now, too. <laughs> a few years, yeah. 
Of course, Brennan Dowick was a great on the Palmer Halls back in 1990. I remember him in uh, Auckland. Great Australian Palmer Halls specialist. But the point earlier that Christine was making, when if the onus is on perfect performance and basic skills, and surely at the end of the day, that's good for the sport, isn't it, Chris? Oh, yes, yes. And I think the, this is where the, the officials are wanting to take the sport. They're wanting to get back a little bit to the beautiful performance of gymnastics rather than just the massive load of tricks. So that's where everybody is in the... Uh, so the individual uh, competition has got New Zealand the leading Hollyoke, then four from South Africa, and then the other three New Zealanders. Struggle around on the floor. This is the one representative from Pakistan, Syed Saifuddin Ahmed. Land safely, but not quite the polished performance from some gymnast but great to see Pakistan represented here in gymnastics no doubt be the forerunner of many gymnasts to come links two somersaults for the finish seventeen year old yeah I say it a little round shouldered I think you're quite right to say that. You can see the, the posture there, it's clear. Needs to lift his chest and press his shoulders down a little bit more. And that would affect his handstand and his body line generally, I think. Yes, he was a little short on style. But I'm sure he and his coach will learn a huge amount from taking part in this competition and uh, we'll see quite a different gymnast next time round. Wano TV of Botswana. See, I mean, there are no gymnastic facilities in this country. He's doing remarkably well. Well, he certainly gave a very tidy performance on the floor. The rings don't look quite so much his piece. Needs to lower the shoulders when holding these strength moves. But his handstand shape's good. Nice and steady. Has to swing back to handstand, which he does again. Good swing, good line. Just needs to be a bit stronger. Recovers that well. Double back somersault. Kicks it out to make the landing. Well, he's working for a scholarship to train in uh, Japan. Well, that might make a huge change. I think it's... Uh... It's really encouraging, as Christine was saying earlier, to see these gymnasts in this company. This is absolute zenith for them, Commonwealth Games. And to see a young man like this, his technique for swinging is good, his body line is good, his basic shape is good, but virtually no strength will do him down for the score here. A little bit wild in the double tuck, but uh, not a bad performance from him. Yes, the difficulty only 
second look at the Cypriot, Aristotelus. It is, but uh, Greek names, and obviously that's part of Cyprus that he comes from. Always seem to have one syllable too many. That's only to my eye, and no complaint against uh, the Cypriots, Greek or Turkish. debate among the judges see the two judges and the four judges there is a, a, a difference that the two judges can talk to each other and the four judges can't so Constantinos Aristotelos of Cyprus nice combination but two feet out there question he was on the line but he's twisting his way to some very good combinations here I'd like to see a little height injected there we are the half turn Arabian that uh, Whole move so popular on floor, but you've got to do lots of them to build any difficulty now. Lovely handstand line there. And just to hammer this uh, quality performance angle, these gymnasts are being made to think about how they look. It's not just throwing wildly, it's controlling. That's nice. Just a little pace, a little bit deep on landing. But the impression I'm getting, Christine, is that the, the style is there. They're really concentrating on presenting an exercise. Well, that certainly was a good stylish routine, wasn't it? Always within himself. I know he just had the first little error of outside the floor, but, you know, we've seen great gymnasts have that problem. And he really did look as though he was performing well within himself, which is what you want to see in gymnastics, isn't it? Nice extension there. There is the leg in traditional style. And the double circles. Now, see, ideally, the body line needs to be straight here, but it's very arched, and the knees are very close to the ground. Judges have been asked now to watch for quality shape and leg style. But that's nice. Two and a half twists in the middle of that combination. Cleanly done. Still all judged from the naked eye, though, isn't it? Unless there's a problem. Yes, yes, they've got uh, replay posi uh, position to be able to be looked at if there's a problem. But it is by the naked eye, unless there's a problem. Here's the young New Zealander, Misha Kudinov, on the high bar. He's only 15 years old. Swinging with good straight arms. Lovely style there. Staldrin now. Oh, and good Ginger Somersault. Just lost his legs on the handstand and on the Ginger. Now that will be deductions. But he's recovered well. Good shapes around the bar. Putting in the difficulty, adding the turns. Winding up into, look at this, huge dismount. Triple back well above the high bar. I'm very delighted, the youngster. Oh, it's good to see it. And uh, it's on our parade, it's like this, the youngsters do shine now. It looked okay, but then he frogged up the handstand from that, which is a, a massive deduction. At five tenths, probably. Even with the most generous of judges. But there's some nice, light, swinging touches, and uh, he understands the apparatus. And the triple, great stuff. To give him that step, wouldn't you? But they won't. Three point nine for difficulty, but uh, all up in the eight. A couple of, in fact, one eight point eight, two eight point fours. A 
Aristoteles. Look at all the nines there. Point one for the foot out. And the A jury said worth 5.3 in terms of what he was trying to achieve. That's a pretty good performance. Gerhard Swiggers, who is leading the South African challenge. Bars the next test for Swiggers. Good sharp start to that routine. That cuts to handstand, which is a favourite amongst the gymnasts. He's locked out nicely. That's nice. Fight front somersault to our forearms, and he's keeping the swing. Can afford to stop if he wants, but he almost lost it there. There's the handstand to set up. Diamandoff outward to the bar, and he's very strong to hold that. He almost over twisted. Gonna dip to the arms. If he lands this, it's clean, but a uh, couple of tenths at the end, and just a bit of wavering in the handstand elements. But that's a good stylish routine from him. It's uh, attacking the apparatus. Started well, didn't he? Just picked up a few errors at the end, didn't he, Mitch? You've had to fight. There we are, the bent knees. That would really be quite a large deduction and ended up out of line. But like you said, he was massively strong not to fall off at that moment. Strong and determined. All these little shuffles with the hands lose the marks. Thirteen point three, the title, the total even. The title is some distance away. Thirteen point three for parallel bars, and this is Holyoke on the high bar, who had the lead at the end of two rotations. Oh, and stalled a little bit. Just as on parallel bars, really, he doesn't let himself swing, does he? Bails the shoulders and slows it all down. High bar should be fast and exciting. And although it's good style, it's just a bit too slow. Now he lets go a little bit. But not the highest release we've seen. I haven't seen one of those since 1966. A foreign in hop. Wonderful. And he's swinging a little bit faster now. Needs to lift himself into a dismount which he does double straight not as difficult as some but an efficient routine I suspect that won't match his previous marks though very deliberate almost uh, too slow as christine was saying double straight and i think it's a fairly accurate forecast New Barry, it's not gonna be great shakes. I don't think he wanted to come off the bar quite as early as that. And the smile might tell you that. Anxious wait for his score. And it's only a total of 12.85 compared with uh, a 15.95 and a 14.45. South African Stephen Friedman on the uh, parallel bars. There's a lot of work being done on the South African team. I think they've been well prepared for this competition. They've all got a good line. Their best result was a fourth back in '98 uh, in Kuala Lumpur. 
Very, very strong and determined. Oh, and he lost it. The rhythm on the Healy turn. And that free swing will be very expensive. You've got to connect one skill to another. You can't afford to have a little delay, a baby swing in between. Double fight was clean, though. And he'll be down on difficulty. And the execution judges, too, will have a, a little bit to play with. That was the error, just out of line. Did very well to fight and continue. But the judges can see when the error's been made. Good high dismount, well controlled. So there were some very good features to the exercise. Stephen Friedman, 5.1 given as the degree of difficulty. Halfway point, and the difference between South Africa and New Zealand is 1.8 marks. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commonwealth Games gymnastics competition is the first international competition where the gym scores may exceed 10 points. Judges mark each routine on execution and difficulty. The gym's execution score is marked out of 10, and this is then added to the opening of our difficulty. The final score, which may be as high as 15 or 16 at this competition. Spriggers in particular. Friedman only just a notch behind Spriggers. As they say, all to play for in the second half. And here's the current leader. You would certainly have to have a Pretty awful second half if uh, he doesn't make the all around competition. The New Zealanders go from high bar to the floor. South Africa replaced them on the high bar. And at the start of the fourth rotation, the gap between them is 2.8 marks. The old man of the party. The part that is of Mitch Fenner.
30 years a gymnast reaching for the heights 35 year old Christian Bresno born in Romania and is struggling here for South Africa made it the second time nicely out in the squad dislocate 30 years in the sport, as you say. Plenty of experience, knows how to rescue routines. Very deep. And the endo, so deep almost, as to lose the swing. Winding up. Oh, <laughs> great landing, a little pace back at the end, but I don't really think he knew where he was. A little bit of a strange technique on the kick into the dismount, wasn't it, Mitch? Very late change of body shape. Struggled at the start. The bit in the middle was quite quite good but the start and the finish were a little bit problems that just shows you how small the difference is between success and failure second time round just timed it correctly but that will count as a fall the first little bit and will be heavily penalized he knows that yeah. quite late with the kick into the dismount stuck up there the gymnasts know where they are know their feet aren't going to get down so they tuck them over to increase their rotation here's the Botswana again Botswana Motibi Coach looking a little concerned. Pitwana <laughs> Motibi, Botswana on the vault. It's good on floor, and he's not too bad on vault, except he got lost in that landing. One and a half turns. Very difficult to spot that, because for the last 180 degrees of rotation, you can't see where you are, and it's very difficult. And he made that last half quite late, didn't he, Mitch? Didn't really have time to set the landing up. The turn on, good snap, one and a half twists. And he really just got his feet down first, and uh, that'll be a costly fall at the end of it. Good, strong attack. Hit the front of the platform, got up nicely, but the rotation was lacking there. But you would think some natural talent to be worked on here. Oh, most definitely. Lots of ability, lots of dynamic work, isn't there? And he works with good style as well, I think. What was it in Toy Story, Barry? Falling with style. And pretty good marks, really. Wow. How oh, good. Is the young Misha good enough? We will see. Not a piece where you need loads of power, just lots of technique, and he showed good control there. Obviously, very capable on the twisting elements. Links the whip back into the double twist. Absolutely popped up, didn't he? He did. Obviously needs to work a bit on his body preparation. The strength and the suppleness not quite there yet. But lots of flair. Very well timed turn there. A 
another young gymnast who looks like he's got lots of ability. Just needs more strength. Two and a half to finish. A good exercise. Well, he's 15, going back 12 and a half to look at, isn't he? Yes, hasn't physically matured at all yet, and I would think he's going to struggle with the power pieces like rings. Lovely technique, that light, fast, and really did. Took that one up to the rafters. Nice extension as he goes into the round off, but he picked up Chris. He's a little bit stiff around the shoulders, isn't he? Needs some work there. But he's got a nice approach. Heavy one to watch, I think. Certainly at Commonwealth. 13.85. Pretty good score, you have to say. See, I'm coming to terms with it slowly. Now is the individual leader. First session of gymnastics. Twenty-three year old. Mark Hollyock of New Zealand. Good, clean, measured start. The one on three at the end. Tuck front somersault. Nicely under control. Full twist in the one and a half twist. And he does have a, a special pace to his work. He's controlled. Tight, a bit restricted in his swing there. That handstand line is uh, impressive. I know it's early days, Christine, but I think this code is having a great effect on, on basic presentation. These gymnasts are really thinking about how they look. Certainly so far, we've seen less wild work. Loses the point one for the step out, but not too much else. Good two and a half twist, lots of control there. I like his work. It's a, uh, it's quiet, Barry. I think is the word I'd use. <laughs> yes, his, his presentation to the judges after completing them was okay. I finished. Do you like it? Nice one and a half twist. A couple of paces back through, but uh, he was well in control. Deep lunge, strongly through into the backflip. Sets the twist very well for two and a half. Mario. Going well, I think. South Africa, Gerhard's figures. And swinging with good style at the moment. Good pace to the swing. Haven't seen the big release yet. Working in an invert swing up into the straight. Jaeger, and had he caught it, it would have been sensational. But of course, when you release and don't even retouch the bar, you don't get credit for the move at all. Oh, but Bresno having problems. This could be a problem for South Africa now. He's got a decision to make now because if he doesn't repeat a release, he's not only going to lose the point eight for coming apart, he's also going to lose another point five for one of the requirements being missing. And that really was a country mile away. He'd say he'd be lucky to get away with that and not be badly injured. So let's have a look. I have to say, unless I was sure I could do an awful lot better, I don't think I'd chance it again. But let's see what he will do. Looks to me like he's just going for the good dismounting. What a dismount. He's whacked in a double twist, double straight, just to prove he's a, he's a good gymnast. He is a good gymnast, no doubt about it. It's just a bad day at the office. Or well, a bad 30 seconds at the office. But there was a deal of irritation that went into that dismount from what had happened before. 
absolutely determined and absolutely spotted. How costly is the mistake going to be for South Africa? Well, the point eight for the fall, but then of course the loss of not only the the score you would have got for the move, which is a point five, but also the fact that he then wouldn't have fulfilled one of the requirements, another point five, probably about two marks that would cost him. Doing their sums. Oh, he's got, isn't that a coach that's injured? It is. When he went to catch him, I think, as he came off the bar. Well, this is how the uh, South African coach got hurt. That's a bicep tear, I bet you. Because um, I've seen one of those go. That's going to cause him a few problems. I doubt he'll leave the arena till the competition's finished, though. He'll want to see the job through. Swigger's mark. 13.5. Just 0.8 between the top two. Two to go. South Africa still in the lead. But it's tightened at the top. 1.95 now the gap between the uh, South Africans and New Zealanders. And Sri Lanka, as they say, hanging in there. Adjustment going on in the uh, pommel horse. That's where the New Zealand team are. up in fourth place only contender from that country one man team swiggers won't want any more problems neither will he Ice to the rescue. Just not guaranteed to make you popular in the camp to injure the coach. Well, some would say certainly the coach and paternity better the coach than the gymnast. Possibly did save the gymnast from quite nasty injury. He was coming down head first, wasn't he? So he did his job at quite a big cost. Africa now to the floor. New Zealand to where? Well, you may correct me here, ladies and gentlemen. The gymnast is most likely to come to grief. I always feel on the top of us. Well, certainly if today's experiences of earning it go by, you're quite right. But traditionally, that's the real 
the real challenge to keep the swing, to keep control. Uh, pommels traditionally, much like the bean for the women, I think. Yes, yeah, certainly today it's been the lowest scoring piece. I think the top score on the pommel horse at the moment is 12.75. If you look at the vault where the top score is 16, and uh, the floor where we've had 14s. Championships representing South Africa. Please welcome Gerhard Schagel. You can see how the order can change. In theory, you keep your best man to last. Leading off for South Africa is Gerhard Sviggers on the floor and having the problems he had in the warm up. Exactly so. He bent his arms badly in that handspring, so he was going to always be in trouble to try and get the height for the twist. But he's got another. 40 seconds or so to try and put things right. Control in the split. The Japanese handstand. Nicely done. Nice little skip into the side somersault. Easier there. And the one and a half twist. Deep breath. Gathering composure. And he really wasn't happy. He started as he finished with problems. And South Africa will be hoping to drop whatever score he gets. Lots of little deductions there, nothing huge. He didn't land sitting down, but there wasn't a single tumble that was really clean, was there, Mitch? And he obviously doesn't like tumbling backwards. Uh, three of the four tumbles were forwards. There, the handspring, the double twisting front to start with, which is an ambitious tumble. He twists cleanly. No double back somersault everything was from the twisting group so he'll lose some marks on composition there for not showing uh, multiple somersaults as well as multiple twists this was the one backward tumble round off backflip two and a half twist lovely and high and light but just no control on landing no need to take that second foot out. It was easy for us to sit up here and say that, but it didn't look as if he needed to join the second foot to the first and no, double the deduction. He didn't make any effort, did he, to... Uh, I mean, I think he thought, that's it, I'm not going to score. But you never know. I think that is a bicep, and it's very nasty. This is clearly painful. Mm. Daniel Good of New Zealand, hoping to live up to his name. Runner-up in the uh, New Zealand Championships in the all-around competition. Big test for Daniel Good. His first South African has not done well on the floor. He's gone very well on that opener. Magyar, the walk up, and the Zivado, the walk back, very successful. Swinging a little bit tight, but he's keeping composure and keeping the swing going. A little bit on one handle. Now he'll have to break. That's nicely done. Oh! And at the end of the day, if you can't keep the shape straight, the swing will run out, and it happened to him. But he was going so well. Point eight. At least. And he's not happy with that at all. Wrong body shape to try and bend his swing. Triple turn in the straight body position. He just lost it.
so he won't get credited for a proper dismount. And he came away from the apparatus twice. That's 1.6 before he starts. You can see the body shape really is incorrect from the beginning, and he clouts the apparatus, doesn't he, as he does the single leg work. Like you say, Mitch, if you don't swing with good technique, your strength runs out. You can only do it with strength for so long. And that's what happens to him here. And the sixes for the cut of your performance and not too much awarded for what he put into the performance from the A jury. So a low score for New Zealand and uh, could have been worse for Swiggers of South Africa. 23 penalty. Come on, Troy. ring specialist, the man who shared the gold with Scotland, Stephen Frew, in the last Commonwealth Games in Manchester, of course. This is Herodotus Theogallus of Cyprus. And amazingly, he's, he doesn't sport the traditional huge upper body of a ring specialist, and uh, I'm sure Steve Frew will forgive me, neither does he, they've just got a great Strength weight ratio. Light legs, strong, that's powerful. Maltese squeezes up into top plant. Lovely inverted cross. Now, this is good work. He's still on form on his favorite apparatus, Morgalis. Lovely level cross there, and all the strength there will bounce back into the position. So he's building very nicely in terms of those difficult marks. A lift to inverted cross as opposed to a swing. Handstand, just a few faults in the lockout. What about the dismount? Double straight, it was very deep, and a double hop forwards. Disappointing for him after such good strength. That's right, I think he actually touched the floor, Mitch, on that dismount, which will lose him considerably. He looks a bit dejected, he knows that. Just about qualifying for the final, isn't he? He'll, and, uh, he'll fight another day. But these strength elements were very well done. Very good, but he knows there's a lot of good gymnasts still to come, and he'll be disappointed to have given away. Look, you can see the mark from his hands on the floor. The expression is of concern. Been given a very good look at the uh, man from Botswana. Didn't spot him in the opening ceremony with their team, and probably he was advised not to be there to have to wait around. He's been held up here because uh, previous man from Namibia. Parallel bars, John Robert Hannibal. Hasn't been given a mark yet. Concentration, look at that. And, uh, passing Mitch. I hope you saw. And here we go with uh, TB from Botswana. Good start. Settles into a nice handstand, but he's lost the swing. The idea is you have to link the moves without too many extra swings, and he took two or three. However, once he got going, the somersault was good, but all those little walks along will lose him marks. Look at the split of the legs, he's fighting all the way with this routine to keep control. But you'd look at that and say, this is raw ability. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. 
Oh, there he is. He missed his hand on mm. that little bit. Mm. Lacks technique, really. Lacks training. Plenty of courage, I think. But I think, um, as Barry said earlier, if he does get to Japan, the coaches will get to grips for that technique, and uh, they can build a lot on this. to compose himself now and make sure he finishes with better style. Oh. A bit of a lack of discipline there. Good double back somersault. He's much more comfortable when doing the tumbles, isn't he, than hand on the hand apparatus. technique in the flying back roll to handstand but then <laughs> the handstand broke down he's uh, not afraid to go for the moves it's familiarity though and keeping the swing going he really has to work on When you see some of these gymnasts struggling, fighting with the apparatus, it makes you realise just how accomplished the top gymnasts are that we're used to watching. 14.95, Jurie said that the technical side, 6.4. And uh, the Indian judge gives him the highest performance mark. The average mark, of course, from those four taken. Just in passing, uh, as we stay with the rings, I hope, Mr. Fenner, you saw Yuri Keki performing in the opening ceremony of the Olympic Winter Games. Yes, he did. He gave it some hammer, I could say. Christian Zianu on the floor for South Africa. Good start. Interesting double. Oh, lost in the one and a half twist. And that would class as a fall. Pirouette in straddle into flare, but he's hooking that leg. It's a shame, really, because uh, the opening was class. It was high and clean. Thirty-five years of age, and uh, to get yourself into this sort of shape for competition is no easy thing. That's nice. Backside somersault with half turn, and there uh, you don't get too many of those. Strong finish, double straight. Started and finished with great power. What a shame. Let's hope he's built up enough difficulty that he could make the final because that was had the potential of a real class routine, didn't it, Mitch? Yes, it is very aggressive on the opener. Deep lunge, pulls hard through the backflip. Sets. Oh, it's a double-double. I robbed him of a twist in the first commentary. But it was this tumble here that will be very costly because it wasn't round, hands landed, you know, a fall, losing the value of the move as well. Good, aggressive. In the back of tumbling, a double straight. That's no mean feat to finish a routine with that. Really top level, that, isn't it? Let's hope he has a chance to show us it without the errors later in the week. What might have been 
And he's in ninth place, as you see. So on to the last rotation. Mark in for uh, Motibi. All the parallel bars, which left a few marks on him. And taking a few marks off him as well, because <laughs> that's what the judges are debating at the moment. How three or four major breaks, it's a real task for the judges. You need to be absolutely fair. Hey, jury. That's the jury that decides what went into the performance from a technical point of view. I have to say that we were fearing that this would be very slow, the judging of this competition so far, so good. It's been pretty good. But this is where it's been slowest on the uh, P-bars. Botswana goes to the high bar. I suspect something very spectacular on the evidence of this so far. But maybe some of that as well. Absolutely. I think uh, you alluded earlier, Barry, to the fact that it, there's hardly a gym in uh, Botswana. So to get this far, there's a score for parallel bars. 9.65, you can see very heavy on the performance marks. But the fact that he's here, and probably, I would guess, only floor and vault that he's been brought up on, to get the other four apparatus to this level is amazing, really. Yes, he's very much the, the gymnast who's a tumbler and vaulter, and then later on has turned his attention to the other apparatus, isn't he? The gap has grown at the top with uh, one rotation remaining. Difference now is 6.3 between South Africa and New Zealand. And as far as the individual position is concerned, good news for the man from Wales. David Eaton leads the show. 12.75 on the uh, pommel horse, 12.9 on the rings, 12.4 on the vault, 14. Beg your pardon, 15.4 on the vault, 14 for the parallel bars, and 15.25 on the high bar. He'll finish on the floor. I hope we'll see him there because he deserves to be seen. That confirms the position. David Eaton of Wales in the lead. He's really come through very well. 15.25 on the high bar. He's from Wales. He's in the lead. David Eaton has had a good competition, had problems right at the start with the pommel horse, but it's built. 15.25 on the high bar, what can he do on the floor? Oh, just squeezed himself back into the floor area. Bounced into a uh, arabesque position, which will cost him a few marks, but now he's settling down. Good twisting line to open. Now on the second line, through the pommel inspired move to link. Third tumble. Nice, easy technique. On the one and three quarter front somersault kicks out nicely to land. Get him, Chris. It's five years since he won the British All Round title. He's been injured for 18 months. He's come back and looking fairly good. Very classy performance there. Good, tidy double back, knees together. Again, stylish and controlled. His advantage on the top after five pieces was just uh, 0.45. 
So he's going to have to sit back once he's got his score and wait to see if anybody comes past him. Good twisting here, one and a half twist, and he works out of it. Full twist, then another one and a half, and this is the early one. He landed inside, and he just about stayed inside. It would be very unkind if they deducted him for that. Well, he's going to be at five tenths for the landing, and because that was a big fault, the landing. Deep landing. Yeah. Well, his legs went all over the place, didn't they? But after that, pulled it together well. Fest just worn by him in the artistic gymnastics. After the rings comes the ball. Herodotus Jergalis. Cypriot on the runway. Very measured approach, builds and doubles. Sukahara really well performed that. Two and a half somersaults from his hands. And the way he accelerated in the last few paces of his run and really harnessed it well. Look at that. Nice okay. and tight. Bang center. The foot just about kept under control, but that's power. Really big ball. That absolutely amazed me, having seen him struggle with the dismount off the rings i thought well perhaps the agility side was his least good but that was a cracking vault fifteen point eight i suspect that's the best mark on that piece of apparatus no there was a sixteen from striggers and a 15.95 from Holyoke. David Eaton, what for him for that floor routine? 13.6. That's his fourth best score. Would it be enough to keep him in front? Yeah, hard swiggers and on the pommel horse. Twenty-one year old from Stellenbosch. Just brushing the horse there. Slightly tight in the swing and it always, always takes you away from the horse. You've got to extend, you've got to get the rhythm going. He's had a disappointing second half of the competition. And if you know, have another look, you can see the swing is from the hips, not from the shoulders. He needs to try and get a nice straight line from shoulders to feet. But he's really piking it up here. And uh, it's inevitable, really. Put it in layman terms, you mean he's got to swing his entire body? Entire body. And uh, it's, it's a scythe that like effect. The longer the body, the longer the lever, and the more graceful the swing. And uh, it is very, very difficult. Once you start piking up, the swing becomes erratic. up now into the dismount sequence she's safely through and you want to forget that routine pretty much in a hurry psychologically to come away from the apparatus twice and then get yourself geared up mentally to uh, get back on especially with the huge deductions now for falling the pommel horse really has been a problem so far for the gymnasts in this championships. I think our top score there is, is in the 12s. And uh, mind you, Youngs, I would have to say the work has reflected it. You saw then he grabbed hold of his trousers as he tried to swing. 
like you said, Mitch, I think he was just happy to dismount and walk off the podium. It is interesting as he only gets 10.45, which puts him way back of David Eaton, is that there was a time when the judges found it very difficult to separate competitors on the pommel horse. Presumably not so now. No, th the aim of this new judging system is to allow the judges to separate the gymnasts, and it, it looks today as if it's certainly working, doesn't it? Followed by his colleague, Stephen Friedman. Certainly, single leg work was much better. You see he's a little bit more extended. Keeping the swing going. That's the Magyar. Now he's in the Zavado, two great Hungarians who gave their uh, name to the sport. But you see, at the end of the day, the body shape is so important. Hours and hours spent just on swinging the body straight from shoulder to toe. Repetition, repetition. It's always very difficult in a team competition when one or two of the previous performers have not done well. It sort of ricochets through the team, doesn't it, Mitch? A strong mind to be able to put the other performances away. Very true. And he exploded into the middle there. How he kept the swing going, I don't know. Nice dismount. Get himself focused when he had to. Inter think that the South Africans will be very grateful for the uh, advantage they had after round five. Look at that, he just blew up into the air. Instead of keeping flat and keeping that body line extended. Pulling the hips back there, but he got away with it. Using just a little strength. But if there's a hint of strength on any of these pommel elements, it's uh, 0.3 or 0.5, very expensive. Straight 12. Neither jury liked it too much. Seems to have enjoyed himself. Cypriot. <laughs> Just outside the top ten going into this final piece of apparatus. In time, the New Zealanders are on the rings. great roar for the crowd was that one of them came off the rings. And the vault. Goes to Kellers. Good approach. Oh, good style as well. Beautiful one and a half twist. Finished high. Could control the landing. Very nice vault. Has hurt him. Holding the back and hobbling just a little. The twisting technique, he was so sharp. Popped the top of the horse beautifully, top of the platform. Really spunning those twists, one and a half. Very difficult, but did it well. And he looked as though he landed very well, but uh, presumably he jarred his back a little bit. He bent his knees, as the textbook would tell you. Look how well locked together those legs, in line, the vault down the middle. Met the mat as he landed. So often in these one and a half twists, the mat meets you, and the fact that he was able, he looked great. It must be an old injury, he's just aggravated a little. Looks like he's going to attempt a second vault, so he must fancy his chances of making the vault final. Well, he's entitled to on that, and 15.8 he gets for the one that's counting now. Look at the nines. Whenever that score comes out of 10, I think he's come closest to making it. Very impressive scoring.
round off approach just the straight for the second bolt much lower tariff same good precision i wonder was it just the straight he intended because if you can twist like that there'd be no problem in putting the one and a half twist at the end of that sikahara so let's have a look i mean uh, he's got the style look at that unusual decision he was obviously in pain and just went for the simple option i think well i hope it works for him because it'd be good to see him in the final what does he have to get i mean is it an average of the two vaults yes that's that's what qualifies you for the final Ladies and gentlemen, please thank the gymnasts in today's competition. He's definitely jarred something there. And South Africa has ended ahead of New Zealand by 5.3. So that's the story in the team competition. But there have been some good individuals among them this man aristotelus 15.8 he's given for that uh, second ball which i hopes will get him into the apparatus final but the good news for the welsh is that david eaton has proved himself the best gymnast all around in the afternoon and i hope that qualifies him for that competition south africa win the team competition and take that score to probably be bettered by uh, enough of the teams in the evening session but you never know might get them a minor medal but there is confirmation that david eaton of wales has been the best gymnast of this opening session at the rod laver arena Thank you.